you're muted. How have you been doing? I'm good. You're doing good? Yeah. So, um, all right. So this is just going to be like me and you talking. Okay. So no pressure. All right. All right. So, all right. um, you know, I work with a bunch of youth and, um, you know, I only have like a few students that are in your age bracket that have come and all of them have done really well with the training. Either they're working somewhere or they have a business. And so um, I've got a few of you that are going to do videos and it's really going to help me when I go work with these um, nonprofits that we work with to kind of show them that, hey, there are people their age that are actually turning this into something, you know? Yeah. And so you just tell your story. Okay. And I'm going to ask you a couple questions and then you just answer them. Okay. And then if you have any like words of wisdom for someone your age is basically what I'll ask you at the end, okay? All right. So tell us a little bit about, uh, everybody, this is Nicole with Cellbotics. This is Sergio. He right. is a student, a former graduate of ours. And, and Sergio, just so they know, how old were you when you came to class and how old are you now? I was 15 and I'm 16 now. And when did you come to class? I need to look that up. I usually... <laughs> I believe sometime in August. Yeah. August Pre 2019 mm -hmm. right yeah yeah august 2019 yeah it wasn't that soon oh, no, 2020. 2020 oh 2020 august of 2020 yeah i was like no it, yeah i was like that hasn't been that long okay so that was just a couple months ago and it is because it's october 2020 now okay um all right so uh let's just give a little bit of background on you so somebody can, maybe can relate to you so do you did you have any electrical experience what actually got you interested in repair like what just you just like all of a sudden were like i want to fix electronics or did you have somebody doing it already that you knew or um i used to work on like phones around the house stuff like that um and before i took the class i had tried to get a job at a cell phone repair place but they wouldn't hire me okay. and yeah, and then I found the class and uh, just took it from there. So I, awesome. I didn't really have prior experience at all. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. And so even though I'm here, how did mm -hmm. you feel about class? <laughs> um, at first, I didn't really think that much of it. You know, I was just like, whatever, you know. Right. I never really did good in classes and stuff like that. But I remember like my first day, it was like three o'clock. And you know, the class is like from eight to six. I'm like, wow, I'm still paying attention. I actually kind of like it, you know? <laughs> kind of enjoy this. So that's when I knew like, yeah, this is something I want to do. Right. You were so good in class. I mean, you were kind of quiet, but you paid attention yeah. a lot. You just yeah. came off very quiet. And I was like, this kid's probably absorbing a lot because he's like, yeah. he's you're, you were paying attention, but you were quiet, you know, yeah. and uh, but you did really, really well. And I was I, I really enjoyed that. You know, I, I think that's awesome that you did so well in class. So, um, okay, so tell us what happened when you left class? Like, what was your mind like going on in your mind? Because there is a lot to take in. It is a lot of information. Uh, the first thing I did when I got home is like sleep for two days. I didn't sleep a single day in the hotel. But um, I kind of really didn't do anything with it for two weeks. You know, I kind of forgot. I don't want to say forgot about it, but just, you know, wasn't thinking about it. And I was like, oh yeah, I, I know how to do this, you know? So I started <laughs> working on phones around the house. Um, you know, started working on a couple of my friends' phones, stuff like that. And then I was like, let me try and get a job with this, you know? Right. So I took from there. Right, and so you just went to like some local shops and applied? Yeah. And uh, kind of what was there when you walk in and you're trying to apply? Like, what is that like at your age, like trying to do that? Uh, It's kind of weird. I mean, I had had a job before at like a pizza place and I just walked in and they hired me uh, here. I went to two different shops, gave them my resume, nothing. Uh, but I was determined, came back a month later, probably more like two weeks, gave them my resume again. And then they called me the same day and said, hey, if you want to come in for an interview next week. So, right. That's awesome. So um, so you're working for them right now. Yeah. How is it going? Um, at first it was kind of scary, you know, cause I work, I work in the shop by myself. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I got to ring up customers, all that work on phones by myself. But once I got, you know, I've been working there for like three weeks now, mm -hmm. I'm pretty comfortable with the job and stuff. So. Oh, that's really cool. And then I know that we had some things that we went back and forth with you on with like the non-compete and all that, but yeah. you got all that worked out and you felt really comfortable with it and you really yeah. wanted the opportunity. How is it working with other technicians? Do you really enjoy it? I mean, with people that are already doing repair, is there people there that do that? Uh, yeah, 
I haven't really got to work with anybody else besides my manager for like the first two weeks. Um, and yeah, I mean, we're just kind of hanging out, really, you know. Really? <laughs> How relaxing. many repairs do you do a day? Like, are do they have you fixing stuff like constantly or kind of? Uh, I'd say last time I was there, I did about like probably 10, maybe. 10, 10 to right. 8. Yeah. That's awesome. Are you selling devices, doing activations and stuff? Uh, yeah, we sell devices. I haven't sold any yet, but, um, you know, that's probably coming soon. So, ready for right, that. You'll get on that, of course. Yeah. So, what are your plans for the future? And then we'll kind of round this off. I just wanted to give somebody, give people just an idea that, you know, they can go out there and, and find find a job if that's what they're going to do. You're still really young, so you have the, the whole future ahead of you. What are your plans? Like, what would you like to do in the future? Um, I've always wanted to work for myself. My mom used to have a little job. Uh, you know, she managed or whatever, it's her, her own little business, but you know, she couldn't really do anything with us trying to raise us, you know, me and my sister. You know, it's kind of hard to raise two kids and uh, run a business, even though you do it, you know. I have one, but it is very hard. Yeah, people yeah. don't understand. I, I understand your mom. It's, I couldn't imagine having two and trying to run a business and be a single mom and all that. It's very difficult. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but her and my dad, they always, you know, worked really hard. Uh, just to do better for us. So, you know, I really want to have my own business, kind of continue her dream almost, you know what I mean? Right. I love that. That is so awesome. And you'll be able to do it, you know? And, it, you know, once you decide to go and do that, make sure you reach out to me, you know? Once you start, even if you want to plan it or something like, you know, I'm here to help you and I would love to see you have your own store one day and doing your own thing. But I do love that you went out there and you got a job in the field and you're working at a store and that's really awesome. So always remember though, try to do some, you know, some repairs still on your own. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I know I know you really can't right now, but uh, but um, okay. So, any words of wisdom for for someone who's 15 looking at this and they're trying to talk to their parents about it, or that maybe they got their own money and they want to do it? Like, what is? Can you give them any wise words? I know that's a lot, but <laughs> for your age group, I'd say just do it. I mean, if you're 15, 16, what do you have to lose? It's it's really an investment, you know. Uh, I'd right. say I got my money's worth out the class, so right. Uh, right. definitely worth it, yeah. Well, I'll thank you so much for your time, Sergio, and you know, I'm here if you need anything, okay? All right. And and let me know how your job goes. I want to talk to you in like a month. I want to see how much you've grown because you're going to get, you're going to, I'm, I'm sure you're fixing all kinds of stuff. Yeah, weird things, stuff I never thought I'd be able to fix, but. <laughs> like, you know. It's mind-blowing what your skill yeah. can go to. I have. One of our, my, my new and trainers is what, 18? And he, you know, he went to go work at a shop. I referred him to, and he works for me also at training. And he's like, I'm doing like 10 repairs a day and like, I'm fixing watches and iPads. Like I never yeah. knew that my skill could do that, you know? Yeah. So you doing watches, iPad stuff too, so. Yeah, I've done a couple of Apple watches. I even done like weird stuff like DVD players, you know? <laughs> all kinds of oh my God. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm so glad to hear your skill crossover. So, all right, well, I'll talk to you soon. Thank you for doing the call for me. Mm -hmm. Of course. All right, have a good day. Bye. Bye. Bye.